Gear FX. Coming at you guys at the European Open, 17 September 2018. Not a whole lot on my mind this morning. We got a very slow day data wise. We got a final CPI out of Europe. I guess the highlight of the day is uh, in Australia we have uh, the minutes coming out. That's basically Tuesday. Some ungodly time, 3.30 a.m. So, but I bring it up because Aussie and Kiwi are, are still on the frontal lobe here. We talked about this change in trend. And we talked about after Thursday's bar, some sideways action here. Key support in Aussie now, uh, 71.30. An hourly close below 71.30. I'm going to cancel this view. Um, but I will be um, looking to buy some Aussie down there the first time down. Kiwi, same thing. Kiwi, is, it's a little tricky because it was a trend line break, and so as the trend line gets older, what we call the death knock gets lower. But you could use this bar here as kind of like 65.40. Looks like we already traded 65.40, very end of the day. So be a little bit careful with Kiwi. You also want to be, if you're going to play this game, you need to be aware and awake for the uh, Aussie minutes, or at the minimum have your stops in uh, in a secure, either digital platform or with a secure bank. Anyway. That's uh, that's the plan here. Core long on the fade, Aussie and Kiwi. Cable, untradeable. No, I'm just kidding. Hard to trade. Same uh, same theme. You want to buy low ones, uh, which is an incredibly hard way to trade. It's all news driven. There's no technicals. You just kind of. What I've been trying to do is say. Anytime it goes down 60 or 80 points, I try and buy a little bit um, and then wait for a piece of good news, which will push it back up 60 or 80 points, and then I'll sell a portion of that little bit, and then I'll look to buy a little bit. And you know, If you look at our tactical trading video, we're, we're trying to use that mantra here. Incredibly difficult. A lot of times, you just miss getting given. And then other times you get given, and you have you know, and then you have to eat 50 pips because it's lower. Um, but cables, uh, soft Brexit is on. There was some more news this weekend, and Austria and Germany they want a soft Brexit. Um, buying low ones is going to pay in cable because once soft Brexit is done, we're kind of going to be between 135 and 140. And then after the fact, people will start to go, oh shit, this is going to take 10 years to really finalize. Uh, and then they'll resell, resell sterling probably. But the first move is going to be up and it should be pretty decent. We're already 230 points higher from sort of the original soft Brexit day. Um, so, buy low ones in cable. Dollar Swiss did not get any love through 40. Looks like this is kind of turned now. I don't know. As you all know, I don't really like trading Dollar Swiss, and nor am I very good at it. So, 97.40 is the 200 day. Technically, we're bearish while we're under this thing. I don't know what to do with it, but I just wanted to mention that. We had one of those little sort of pussy uh, pussy breaks on Friday, really no energy, forcing stops, and then all of a sudden we were just a, a wee bit higher, but no great shakes, it's 30 points higher, just mentioning it. Sterling Swiss, same as uh, Cable. We like this one more than Cable, um, just want to collect Sterling Swiss. Uh, low ones, so 125.80 is, is really a nice level. Get some Sterling Swiss on, but anywhere in 
125, 25 to figure. We had bids at 17 <laughs> pretty much all last week, end of the week. Uh, did not get given. But um, Core Long Sterling Swiss looks okay. Quick look at Euro Yen. Uh, perfect fade on Friday. We said 0515, the fade area, 11 was the high. Pretty decent down move. Um, this will be at the mercy of uh, the Italian budget story. Getting a lot of different kind of news uh, out of Italy. Mostly positive, but of course, hard to believe um, anything the Italian government says to be true. So, we're going to have to drill down on this story. This morning, I think it'll be a good time to do a bit of research, uh, start getting our timing set up on when the vote's going to be on the budget, and look a little more deeply into this. As far as trading, if you did not fade it on Friday, there's really no trade here in Euro Yen today. Um, just watching and, and trying to get something together in our heads. Euro Dollar obviously did the same thing practically bearish engulfed don't see any really great trades in euro either basically middle of the range here 115 25 117 25 define it this little trend line here a friend of mine told me to draw just pierced a little bit but kind of defines this little moderate downtrend we wait we wait. Uh, equities. Again, not much to say up here. Obviously, it's frothy. Obviously, we're looking for a turn. We all talked last time. You know, you want your daily close below 2870. We never got that. So we're just watching. If you want to sell high extended ones, that kind of makes sense to me. If you want to just not trade it, that also makes sense to me. Um, but you know, even with a little bit of bad news about China and Trump, we couldn't really hold the lows, and we're, here we are just sitting here. Oh yeah, one last thing: dollar South Africa. Dollar Rand looks like it's turned. This trend line is is interesting. Um, kind of kind of right here on the dailies it's kind of 96.75 daily close above that and we're back in sort of some sort of uh, northerly trajectory uh, we're core long I would say this has not been one of our best trades ever we did um, we did wear some longs in the 90s we added in the 60s we got our average to 76. At any time you have to wear 2% on anything, it's pretty a poor trade in foreign exchange as a, as a rule. So nothing really to be uh, too happy about. Um, we're now just going to put our stop at break even. We did a little bit of thinking about this over the weekend. and The risk reward was upside down on this. Perhaps I'm becoming a little bit too invested in the idea of this trade. I need to be more neutral about it. But anyway, trend line is here. If you are long, you certainly want to hold it now. If you haven't uh, been long, you can add through this trend line. Um, and we'll just see how, uh, how this thing goes this week. All right, I've said enough on a day where not much is going on. Looks like to be a very very quiet start uh, good luck out there be patient and I will talk to you guys tomorrow ciao